It's the week of June 10th, and the gardens are underway. Hey, join us today for the 150 contest. We've got the 150 plant, and hey, we get smacked with a storm. You got to see this. And we also have getting Dawn's garden next door ready, clay garden cure. We're still working on that, breaking up that hard clay. Some tips on how to do that. And also, we have going for you um, the snow peas. The snow peas are starting to pot out, looking good. Wow, did you hear that thunder? And that's not from down under. Join us. June 6th, welcome back. This is the 150 contest plant. Who can grow the biggest pumpkin in 150 square feet worldwide contest? Current record held by John Butler of Canada, 1,174 pounds. I'm just hoping maybe to hit a thousand pounds this year. I really don't know if I can take John's record. But under this gray commercial fabric is Veggie 301. And I place these milk crates in here for a walking so I can step here and walk on it without compacting my soil. I have another one three feet out over here. I'm going to cut out the fabric and expose the milk crate. They were placed in a while back. As you can see, the main vine is starting to crank out four or five feet long now. What I'm going to do now is start pinning down my secondaries. This is a secondary coming off. Let's see, that's coming off the... Uh, main vine. It's like my second secondary on this side. And I'm going to take these sticks and I'm going to crisscross what? Run it in the milk crate. Crisscross applesauce. Put the sticks down. Now the thing you got to remember with these sticks I buy the thicker shit sticks, not the thin ones. So you want to put them down in the ground real low because they'll poke holes in your leaves if you don't. All right, so you get them down there real low so when the wind blows and tosses a leaf around, it doesn't come down and slam a hole into it. All right, so this one here, I'm gonna go a little more across. You wanna leave a little space in there so they can expand and get bigger. You don't wanna pinch off their circulation. That will prevent the wind there. And this is your male flower. This little bud is the male flower. All right, I leave some of those on so I don't end up with no pollinator. Although I do not want to self-pollinate this plant. This is my 1734 Clements, which is the famous 1317 Clements, extremely orange. I don't want to pollinate it twice in a row. Self-pollinating twice in a row is not a good idea. So what we will do is I will get a pollinator from over at E-Rise and come over here and pollinate that day. I'll get a male flower. Stay tuned for that video. All right, so here's your male flowers. I'm gonna pinch the male flowers off because I do not wanna. And here's your tertiary. Your tertiary, that $12 word, coming off the secondary, it gets pinched off. All right? And then we will just take and pile up some dirt right here. You don't have to completely bury the vine. A lot of you don't want to, because if you do, your vines will rot eventually. Some people get crazy, bury the whole thing. It looks like a bunch of rhubarb growing in the garden. Here's another tertiary, pinch, male bud, pinch, bub is pinching. These will get pinched off too. Now, if I had a lot of space, I could let this tertiary grow backwards in a normal, bigger situation, let it grow back and fill in the backside of my plant. But because I'm gonna hit a wall here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pinch that one off. So, I'm an excellent pincher, if you know what I mean. Anyways, here we go. Here's our main vine, already been pinned down. Here's one of the white roots. I've been busy working, so this white root here did not get buried. See that? I'm gonna go ahead, and what I'm gonna do is grab a handful of dairy dew, way out here ahead of the plant, and get down where it's moist, and get a moist, I can check my soil moisture. Yep, it's moist, and take this here, and we're gonna cover this white root, okay? See the root again? We're gonna cover it just like this, get rid of the male bud, and then uh, 
will keep that moist. Now that that roots in the dark, it's gonna shoot down into the soil. There's another one. And I'll bury that one too. See that one right there? That'll get a handful of veggie do 301. So there you go. We're just gonna let it keep growing out. And I will be cutting back this gray weed fabric as I grow. It gets a little hot. I came home a couple days at lunch and watered it down. Purposely, I'm not worried about weeds. I was noticing that the product was blowing around. I was getting a lot of dust. It's really windy around here, if you haven't noticed in the videos. A lot of wind noise. I apologize for that. I'm keeping the dust down. Once the plant canopies over this whole thing, then the gray weed fabric is not needed. I shouldn't have a lot of weeds. There should not be any weed seed in this Veggie 301 to germinate. All right? So just explaining what I'm doing. All I'm doing right now is watering the plant and I use a little bit of Mark Special Tea that I had left over just for some amino acids. But other than that, no fertilizers, just watering. All right. And you guys that see this kind of stuff don't have kittens. This is perfectly normal to see on a plant. We're not growing BMWs. You can't roll a marble down the hood. They will have flaws and hiccups. All right. This little wilt right here is because it needed water. I just gave it four gallons of water. This wilt should go away as we're only in the 70s. All right, I hope I've covered enough information to help you new growers along. That's what we're all about, the new growers at WorldwideGiantGrowers.com. Check out the website. We have seeds for sale, hats for sale, shirts. All right, keep them growing. And keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Bubba's in the 150 contest. Welcome back to the hard clay garden cure. And behind you, you can see sand, a rototiller, and a rake. Oh my gosh. All right, Dawn's excited. <laughs> We're starting late, it's June 7th, I believe. Isn't it June 7th or 6th? I, know it's, I think it's the 7th. It's Sunday the 7th, I believe. Yeah. June 7th, all right? You can see the sand, what the sand's doing. It's getting in between the particles of clay and it won't let it stick back together. Plus we have all the veggie, three, veggie 301 in here, but six inches down, this is solid clay. Over here, the sand's not mixed in and you can see without the sand mixed in, it's gonna stick right back together. Oh, the dairy yeah. dew will help some, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to till and try to get some of this sand tilled over to this side. And then your brother wanted to plant some buckets yeah. I'd recommend he sticks the buckets over here in the clay edge. This is your clay edge. Right. Ask him to stick those buckets along in here where it's more clay yeah. and give you this out here for your nicer plants <laughs> That's what that need do. loose soil. <laughs> Not that they won't grow good in buckets. Right. Well, he's going to put two on the porch, he said, in the buckets. I don't know why. And then he's going to put two more back here. All right, so we're trying to coordinate this with Don's brother because he also is contributing to the garter, garden. The problem is sometimes you get a lot of cooks in there and you got to mix up the recipes. Yeah. So that's what we're working on. All right, the sand is raked out three to four inches thick. I brought in two big trash cans, like 30 gallon trash cans of sand. And now we're going to till. Remember, I'll link this back to the hard clay garden cure where we added a yard of Veggie Do 301 last fall. All right, we're all tilled in now. Here's the beautiful soil. I'm gonna show you. Now there's some clumps in here, clay, but what's gonna happen is they won't stick back together. The sand in the 301 Veggie Do won't allow them to stick back together. So every year her garden will get a little better but this is a major improvement. I'll link this back to where we started last fall. This is a major improvement. Her garden is gonna be gorgeous this year. Check out this soil. This soil, much, much better. You can tell just by looking at it, how loosey-goosey. I'm burying my hand in it now, and it's gonna stay that way, even after a few rainfalls with all the 301 and sand in it. So there you go. Sorry, clay, hard clay garden cure. Oh, don't be sorry. It's a horrible way to go through life. <laughs> Anyways, I was just showing them 
the beautiful yeah, texture so of the soil. And nice looking. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. Compared to a year ago. Oh my God. Remember last fall when it was yeah. out here banging my boot on it like it was a sidewalk? I don't even know how to plant in this. Well, you just use a use a hoe, make you a little spot. I don't know if you're gonna do straight rows or what, but yeah, it'll be easy. Just take you stick your plants in there. Now there's still see a little bit of clay in here. Okay. That's not gonna go away overnight. That's gonna break down. And what we'll do in the fall, we'll add a couple more trash cans of sand in the fall. Okay. And we'll till that in. Okay. And every year it's gonna get better. Wow. But this was solid clay. Heck yeah. S solid clay. <laughs> so now it's but as we had to say in the 70s, it's butamus. <laughs> butamus. butamus. It is so fluffy and nice. <gasps> so hey, you guys, stay tuned. We're going to be putting plants in here, and we'll show you the videos as the plants progress oh, this year. Man, this is awesome. Planting some eating vegetables. These aren't giants. These are going to be your eating veggies. All right. She's even over there. See, she's been growing some weed. Got a little I bit know, of weed. Right? A little bit of weed growing. I... Bonus tip for the day. I want to thank my good friend Danny Fleecer. He gave me this product last year. I probably should have used it last year. But hey, it's going to be 91 degrees today. It's going to be hot. It's June 9th in Michigan. And this is when you start getting leaf scorch on your plants. CalCarb is a great product. I've been using it for years off and on. Foiler booster, natural source of calcium. And also, by the way, Clint Dyson in California. Reminded me last night to use this on my tomatoes. It might help with stop that bottom rot. So he's got some nice tomatoes going out there. So try it. I'm going to mix up a little quart today. My plants are still small enough. I don't need to use my big steel blower to blast the whole plant. I can go out there in a couple of minutes and spray all the leaves, tops and bottoms, and coat them with this cal carbon. It will help stop a lot of the leaf scorch in our 91 degree day that we're gonna have today. Got a little mist going on the bottom of the leaf, trying to get the bottom of the leaves coated. You'll get your best nutrients will take in best on the bottom of the leaf, rather than the top, but don't forget to spray the tops because you will get some absorption through the top of the leaf. All right. Great product, stop your leaf scorch. Use cow carb. The snow peas are rocking. Gonna be 91 degrees today. They're climbing the top of the fence. Look at those pretty blossoms. And I'm hitting them today with the cow carb. Gonna be 91, these peas do not like 91 degrees. So here we go. We'll give them a little protection. This is like putting a little shading over the top of them. Mama Bubba asked me the other day, when are we going to have peas? I said, one more week. Here's actually a flower, and here's a pea pod forming now. Right there, that's a pea pod forming. So anyways, beautiful. Beautiful snow peas. Hopefully it'll stay cool in June so we can enjoy them for a few weeks. But loving me, loving me some snow peas. Looks like I'm running out of, uh, running out of height. Might have to add on to my uh, to my fence. All right, and here's a colossal green pepper start to take off, and the 10K tomato, the 9.65 Steve Marley from New York. We got some blossoms up here for him, and I'll just let them go for now. Growing out the 10K tomato plant. Join us as the summer progresses. All right, and hey, please share this video on social media. Uh, I'm no longer on social media. I've actually left because of the politics and all the garbage on there. But if you want to share these on social media and let, leave a comment that you shared it, I'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll have some giveaways this summer to people who share on social media. All right. Okay. E-Rise Patch, we have great news for you all. So when the, I move this back here, the, 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 the screen, like the plan here. Yeah. Well, I had roots all the way out to here. Did you? Yeah this far out really yeah yeah the roots will be out a long ways yeah that, that baby's grown this is the 2145 and if you watched the last video we linked it up to two videos ago we severed off 
I severed and pinched off the main vine, right and we grew. Yep, yeah, and then we grew, grew out a secondary. This secondary is now going to become the main vine, and it looks normal. That's going to be nice. It looks like a normal well, main vine. That one up there, the, the main vine broke off, and we got that nice big one off of it. Yeah, but they grew back. Yeah. That nice, we sold it to Don Van Hootie. Yeah, that was the 910 Jackson Clements. Yeah. The 910. Yeah. Yeah, we broke the main vine on that. Then it grew right back and we got a nice one off. Yeah, well this here, we're, our secondary is going to become our main vine. Yeah. So stay tuned for this. This is the 2145 McMullen, the $500 seed. Nice, nice and high, nice and green. Yeah, so that's nice. Yeah. This is the, uh, the mother of the state record. This is the 1984 DMG Baron. Oh, grew that far since yesterday. Did it? See my mark? Yeah. Right here. Yep. So it's starting to take off. So they're starting to take yeah, off. They're going now. All right, e is starting to get a handle on it. I was getting worried, man. I was wondering if I needed to come over with the Roundup and spray them with Roundup for you. You're lucky you're walking around in here. I am? <laughs> yeah. Don't make me bring Jackson over here. Yeah. Jackson will well, tell you how it is. He ain't killing me. Uncle Judd gave Jackson a bag of chocolate. Oh, yeah? He gave him a bag of chocolates. We were over there last week and said, uh, don't let your grandma get a hold of these. And Jackson said, if Grammy sees this bag of chocolates, it's game over. <laughs> True story. Anyways, lovely. Looking good, Eri. You're looking good. So where are we at right now? You're feeding them. How much? How many gallons of water are you giving them each day? I give them a little bit of water than every other day. I put the fertilizer on them every, every other day. Okay. So you're fertilizing them every other? And okay. a little water every day. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. They're looking good. They're looking a lot better. I like that right here. The... The 2145 McMullen, I thought, oh, man, we're going to lose that. It's all done. But um, like it. she's looking normal, man. I, I ain't never seen a ribbon vine. But then again, I never tried. I, had to I never tried. The house because the leaves were coming out both sides. Yeah? Yeah. I just dragged it out right before we came. All right. Well, let those secondaries grow out. Now, you got main vines doing good, but you're going to let those secondaries yeah. go. Here's this back vine. I'd leave this back vine grow out right yeah, here. Let that back it. vine grow out. Yeah. And if you need, you can let tertiaries grow over that off of the back vine yeah, right here, yeah. to let it fill in the area. Yeah. So. Because when I picked the, the screen up, the screen was like right here, you know? Yeah. The roots were about right here. Right. It's about time to start laying out your boards, your boardwalk. There's your roots. You want to get some, see that white root in there? You want to get that covered in dirt. See that white root? You want to get a handful of dirt. That white root on the main vine, it's right here. Right there. This one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. get, that needs to have dirt thrown out of it. I didn't see it. That, that, if that, you want those to root in as yeah. fast as possible. Right. You know? Yeah. They're like most things, they do better in the dark. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Looking good, Eri. You're looking good. Yeah, the, the 20 was more. It gave me nice and easy. Yep, that's the 2145 McMullen. Dynamite seed. Those are about dynamite seed. All right, are you going to put the walk boards out? Some of them. Some of them? You should put one right down the middle. But you do what you want to do. It's your patch. All right, you're on sand, so you can pound sand. Go pound sand, baby. Go pound sand. The shreds! No! No, the humanity! The vegmanity! Oh my goodness! They're getting shredded! For the love of God! The vegmanity! Hope you enjoyed today's videos. Um, I'm glad that you joined us. We're also going to have some giveaways this summer, so keep commenting and sharing these on social media. I will definitely pick a winner this week to win some seeds and product. All right? Some surprise product. So comment and share. Instagram, Facebook, your choice. Just let me know in the comment where you shared it. And ask some questions. Hey, you got uh, any questions concerning growing any of the vegetables? 
tomatoes, the 150 contest, giant pumpkins, E-Rise. E-Rise looking good. We're moving along. Um, turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Garden tips are here.